Okay, before we get into the video, if you think about getting this log splitter, like I was just at the store, I'm like, yeah, I probably could use that. It will fit in a BMW 328i at least anyway, fold down a seat. It's pretty compact. So let me get this out and let's go over it. Okay, thank you for clicking on this video. We will be going over the Harbor Freight 5-ton log splitter. Uh, the reason why I got this, because uh, I have a place up north. Uh, we burn a lot of wood there. I leave the log splitter up there and uh, like the bigger one. So to transport it back and forth, it's a pain in the butt. And at this place here, I've got stupid dogs. And I have a, I mean, it's a decent sized stove in the basement. It has blower fans and stuff on. So this one should fit my needs absolutely perfect. It's an electric hydraulic splitter. So we're going to get in. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get out of the box here. It weighs like 112 pounds, something like that. You get out of the box, I'll get it set up, and I won't bore you with setting it up. Maybe if there's something to take away, I'll, I'll let you know, and we'll just get right into the scene what it does here. Okay, yeah, she comes right out of the box, ready to go, but be careful because there are staples in that box, like right off the rip. <laughs> so, yeah, it's literally all put together. you got to put the handle on. And then it comes with an extra copper crush washer because you want to check the fluid level. Uh, let's get a pair of pliers or crest wrench, whatever. And then you want to, it's kind of hard to see, but I did check it. It's like perfect, but check it. And you can replace a crush, crush washer if you want to. Uh, and then importantly too, this is the vent. You have to have this open out when you're using it because obviously you're going to build up pressure. But yeah, she's ready to rip. So I'm going to plug her in. And it says 10 inch max, but we'll find out what she can and can't do for sure. I've seen other people do reviews on them. Uh, one guy welded an axe head onto here to make it a little sharper. That one seems pretty decent on here. Uh, the length is perfect because my uh, fireplace in here, it's not any bigger than that. So, you know, I cut them with my chainsaw to the size I need for an air and this is nice because you could use this inside your house I mean you shouldn't use like pressurized hydraulic systems but you know uh, you could or you know in, in a garage somewhere so I'm gonna plug it in and we'll see what she does yeah so I'm pretty impressed with it I just goof around to, uh, it's with that log easy it's a you have to use two hands here so when you're at uh, Harbor Freight, pick up one of these 12 inch clamps, fits in here perfect. Safety, man. Let's see what she does here. It's about an 8 inch log. No problem, man. Split it right open. And the best thing about this is watch how fast the return is on this thing. Yeah, okay. So that's kind of a, yeah, I guess you would have to. Yeah. So I guess you can't really do that. I guess they kind of figured that out, huh? I think that's why they had pedal switches. You can buy a pedal switch, too. So you plug it in. And then you'd have that button depressed with this. And then you just use your foot. But it's not, it's honestly, it's not bad to hold it. So let me do some splitting with it and see how it works. Okay, so, I mean, I was just listening to some podcasts and just chipping away at it, and it's working amazing. So, with my small fireplace, you know, i got to split them a few times, but, uh, I mean, no problems at all. It is working great. I love this thing. It's good for little jobs, and 
man, I think the only thing that sucks, which I see why people do this. I look, see online before I bought it, I was looking at reviews. You can put this on there, but then if you have a, a foot pedal uh, switch, because it's kind of hard when you're going through with a, my regular splitter. I'm always grabbing the logs, turning them, moving it and stuff. You can't really do that with this unless you have that. But it it has not not split anything. Even stuff with knots and twists in it. Uh, and it's it's hooked in my old garage here. <laughs> old fucking barn. But it only has a 15 amp breaker on one. It's even on an extension cord there too. And it has not tripped a breaker. Like there's an old air compressor in there. It trips it every time you turn it on. And yeah. I mean I love this thing. I think it's like 300 bucks. So instead of dragging my log splitter back home from camp. Like I just leave this here for the one in the basement. And yeah I love it. So let me. I got this pretty big log here. She's. Oh, I mean probably about 69 inches for sure. It's about 69 pounds. She's a thick cherry. So let's see if it will split it. with ease so like with a bigger log especially with the smaller ones it's not bad with the big thick guys you want to be able to catch them so they don't fall and smash something that's where it'd be nice to be able to use one hand on it but for the price point dude it's awesome man uh yeah you need to build like a desk or table i have my saw horse there in the garage but i just have this giant thick the fiberglass eye beam sitting on some rhino ramps but yeah, you have it on a table, and then you put your tractor bucket under there. Good, good little unit. I like it.